If you're a reviewer of Sidemen React, you might have seen Simon, Josh, and Toby react to some of the SidePlus members' setups. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for asking me to be in it. So what better opportunity than for me to chime in when nobody asked and give my opinion. Also remember that for a split second, I also have a subreddit that I haven't checked in about a year or so. And to my surprise, people are still submitting pictures of their setups on there. So this is kind of a reminder to subscribe to the channel and the subreddit and keep posting your pics. And one day I may get around to critiquing them. Kicking things off, we have a submission from Tarfit. The first thing I've noticed is that they're using the same white plastic acoustic panels as I'm using in my studio editing suite. So we're off to a good start already. I'm also a big fan of the way they mounted the IKEA pegboard on top of the panels for some extra storage space. I gotta say, I've never thought of doing it like that before and it looks pretty good. I might have to steal that idea from you. IKEA pegboards are pretty cheap and a versatile way of being able to organize your wall space. So I'm a fan of using them in my setups too. And I also really like seeing what people do with limited amount of spaces. It looks like quite a narrow space to work with, but you've managed to make it seem very cozy and inviting. And I love the softness of those lavender LED lights. It's so calming and relaxing. Honestly, there's not much I suggest you can improve here. Solid job. Rating out of 10, my man. I'm gonna give you a, a seven out of 10. I swear, I see so many setups with the same mouse mat, you know, the, the one with the world printed on it. It looks like a fairly decent streaming setup to me. I can see that there's a camera stand mounted to the desk which looks like a Sony ZV-1 up there. Is that correct? You've got your lighting ring, your stream deck, audio mixer, four screens in total, two, including the laptop. I'd say you've got yourself a pretty cool personalized little space there, Phoenix. Well done, dude. As far as it looking aesthetically pleasing, I don't think it's in that category, unfortunately. I think it's personally the posters that let you down. They're amazing posters, but if you were to put them in a picture frame, I think they will look a lot more classier. And then your room will look less messy because of that. The whole thing of your shirt hanging on the wall as well. Perhaps you can get that framed in like something glass with a frame around it, like people do with football shirts. You have a lot of stuff hanging off your walls, like a couple of key rings and stuff. I see you've got like a controller on your desk. Perhaps you can get yourself a little shelf, a little five pound Ikea shelf, and then have that on your wall and then all of that stuff on that shelf. It will look a lot neater. Also, I'm not sure if you took this picture around Christmas time, but those, <laughs> those fairy lights, I don't know, I don't know, man. It just feels a bit too random that it's just like one swoop and then it's hanging down. If you were to make like a cool pattern with it, or maybe if you had that shelf I was talking about and put it behind uh, the shelf, you can have a nice cool glow on your wall. I've got a whole video on my channel that shows you cheap ways to improve your setup. Maybe take a look at that video, see if you can find any cool lighting tricks you can use from that. Overall, I can see you've got a solid setup, but it's not aesthetically pleasing to look at, but I'm sure it's very functional. You've got all the gear. Either way, well done. Right, Phoenix, rating out of 10, honestly, I'm gonna give you right now a five, purely because it looks like an amazing functional space, but it's not aesthetically pleasing. The other five points, you gather that up by making your setup look aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> that chair looking hella dusty as well, I'm gonna lie. God damn it. Why do I look so sinister and scary in this one? Like, could you have not have picked a more photogenic frame to take from this video? Also, I'm not a big fan of the way the monitor blocks off the part of the TV. Either the TV should be mounted uh, slightly higher or the monitor should be mounted on the arm so you can position it and easily lower it when you need to watch or play TV or something like that. Perhaps your TV could be mounted onto the wall on the right and then you could just swing it around whenever you need it. You've got the functionality. Your setup, functionality wise, I, I, I don't know. It just seems like you'd play Xbox on there and perhaps watch telly whilst you're playing games. You don't seem to be a streamer, so functionality points, I'm not gonna give you any that a streamer might get. It's not super aesthetically pleasing either. It just looks like a very very functional, basic setup. If you wanted to decorate it and make it look pretty, I'm sure you're more than capable of it. Also, personally for me, that desk would be a bit too small. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, listen, we'll give you a five. If you feel offended by that, uh, take that constructive criticism on board, improve it, resubmit your design. Yeah, but overall, well done, you've got a setup. Ah, ah! I shouldn't have looked at yours. That's actually disgraceful. You know what, the setup before you, I'm gonna bump them up in, in, in the rating scale. They can have a six, you can have a four right there. I'm not gonna lie, it's just awful. And I hate to say it, but it just is. There's extension leads on the desk, tangled mess of cables are off the left side of the picture. And there's not even a chair in the picture. I'm assuming you have a chair, right? Or do you just stand in front of this desk? I mean, that would be fine if the fact that this was a standing desk, but it definitely isn't. All it takes is a couple of cable trays
trays to tidy those cables up. Put your water bottle aside so it's not the way of your monitor. Get a stand for your PlayStation. Get yourself a mouse mat. I don't know, there's just so many improvements you can do. This seems like a, a very rushed setup that you would put up in 10 minutes. I hope you do stick around and send progress pictures because I'd love to see how you transform this. Right now it is just goddamn awful. I'm gonna rate it a two, a two out of 10. Setup number five. Okay, I like the style of this setup with its vertical monitor on the side and two horizontal ones. I'm assuming it's a Discord monitor. Either way, nothing too flashy or modern here, just nice and practical. Again, those for those posters, I'd suggest like a picture frame so they've got a little bit more presence. The corners aren't like all folded up and looking old. You've got some stickers on your desk as well. I really like that. Perhaps you can, over the years that you have your setup, perhaps you can cover your whole desk in stickers. That's something I personally haven't seen. Imagine that you cover it and then set it in some epoxy resin so it's solidified there forever and that would be pretty cool. Yeah, it, it, work in progress. You can do better, you know you can do better. Those monitor stands are taking up quite a lot of space on your desk so you can get stands for them. They're quite a cheap upgrade. Tidy those cables up and then you're in business. I would love to see that desk covered up in stickers though. Uh, rating wise, I will give this a, I feel like I'm being harsh, but I'm gonna say four because I wanna see you come back and I see I wanna see more stickers on that desk. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Pilot simulator. Let's go. I'm liking what I see here. Now, this is heading into the futuristic type of direction, and I can really get behind this one. Those flight sticks, flight yokes, pedals, and racing wheel can go all the way into the multiple hundreds of pounds. So you know that this guy takes his racing simulators seriously. Carpet's looking immaculate as well. Good job on that. Although I do recommend finding a way to potentially elevate that PC case off the carpeted surface if it isn't already, just to prevent it from overheating and sucking up a lot of carpet dust. And that's a really easy fix. You just get a piece of MDF board, put it on that. Again, it's not the most aesthetically pleasing of setups, but you've got some serious kit there for your flight simulator. There's a little bit of clutter on your desk. I can't see what that Funko Pop is. So instead of having all your cleaning stuff on that shelf, maybe you can display your Funko Pops better on that shelf. You can put like a little light bar behind your monitor. So at nighttime, it will glow up the slanted ceiling that you have. That would be pretty cool. In all of these setups right now, I'm stuck between this is very functional and good, but it's not tidy or aesthetically pleasing or it's a little bit too cluttered. So everyone's sort of getting them low marks. I'm gonna give you a six. Flashland, it's like Lachlan, but more flashy. Damn, this, now this, this is what I'm talking about being aesthetically pleasing yet simple at the same time. Look at this, it's got the wooden slats. I've got wooden slats. Big ratings for that. I like how they're off to the side and it partitions a plain wall, very nice. I love the hex lights as well. Your monitor setup placement, uh, put, not for me personally, but it looks very cool. It's like something you'd see in a spaceship. You've done an excellent job in showcasing just how sleek it is with this elegant picture. Take notes, this is how it's done. It looks very professional. The desk mat, the keyboard, all very clean and sophisticated. And over to the left side, I've even spotted that you're using the same wood panels that I have in my studio. So yeah, Simon has those panels on his wall. And you know, it, it just confirms you're a man of taste. Nothing to critique here, you smashed it. Classy, clean, keep it up. I'll give this a solid eight. I know I've gassed it up, but I'm giving it an eight because I personally wouldn't have monitor placement like that for the type of work that I do. On my Reddit user, X3B1 has submitted this with the caption of, yes, that is a stolen school desk, a sheet of tempered glass on top. I rate that energy. How do you steal the desk? And how did you attach the sheet of tempered glass? I am so intrigued. I just didn't know that that could possibly be worth the effort. Surely it would be far better just to go out and buy a cheap desk. No? Hey, each to their own. I think we've just discovered a criminal on my subreddit. See, I don't know how you can stop people like XB31 from stealing desks. However, I do know how you can protect your privacy and conceal your identity from people like XB31 or any other hackers that are trying to keep a tab on your activity online. And the answer is very simple, my friends. NordVPN. NordVPN is a virtual private network that encrypts your internet traffic and protects your identity. And because Nord has sponsored today's video, I'm able to offer you guys a special deal. You can get four months extra 
out on their two-year plans when you use the link in my description. See, even if you've got nothing to hide, you probably don't like the idea of being watched and tracked. With NordVPN, you can protect your privacy and conceal your identity, keeping you safe from hackers or anybody else that's trying to keep tabs of your online activity. I've installed the Nord extension for the Chrome browser, and now I can get online protection with a single click. See, when you're browsing through a VPN, your traffic is encrypted, so nobody can see what you're doing online. Might be useful if your name is X3B1. Do you know how quick people can trace your IP to this Reddit post and find out what school you've been stealing those esks from? Get this, Nord offers dedicated apps for all major platforms, and you can protect up to six devices with a single account. And you can install it on your phone, your work laptop, your kid's iPad, or your Wi-Fi router in a few and simple steps. And honestly, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you can't go wrong. And if you use my link, nordvpn.com forward slash Constantine, you will get four months extra on a two-year plan. So yeah, check out the link in my description to take advantage of this deal. Next up, we have a user, Fat Dog Lol. My school setup. Careful, XB31 might be coming to steal some stuff from you. Now, I'm assuming that you have this setup at home whilst you're studying, because if there are schools out there that are rocking this setup that looks like this, then school computers have really upped their game since the last time I went to school. It's, that is a really nice setup. If it was up to me and I could knock that wall down and I could redo the wiring, I would put that plug socket way lower just so it's not in the way. I think seeing plug sockets just looks very messy. But apart from that, you have it going on. I don't know why I went so sassy there. I like it, well done, fat dog lol. I will give you, for the fact that it's very clean and just looks like a breath of fresh air, I'm gonna give you a seven and that's that's really good. Whoa, now I released a, a, ki a kitchen transformation video and I didn't diffuse my LED lights and literally every single comment on that video is about the bloody LED lights not being diffused. So I'm gonna roast you for the same exact thing because we all know that diffused LED lights look way better and they're easier to diffuse on a desk like that than in a kitchen. Get off my back, everyone. Sorry, I just needed to vent that. You could say this is an overwhelming amount of RGB, but again, I feel like if you diffused it and maybe had the strips under your desk, they'd look a lot nicer. The lighting would definitely look much nicer if you were to run it along the perimeter of the desk facing against the wall, rather than having facing it outwards, shining straight into your face or have them under your desk. Apart from that game, we're witnessing poor cable management right there. It seems to be like a common theme of people in this video, but that's fine. That's why cable organization stuff exists. I will link some stuff in my description uh, so you guys can take a peek at that. Right now, the walls are looking very plain. If you're in a position where you don't want to ruin your walls, perhaps because it's a rented property or you're just not allowed to hang stuff up, the display do really cool posters that don't ruin your wall. So you can take a look at them. They just magnetize on your wall. They're very cool. Yeah, and tidy those damn cables. I'm going to give you a four. Finished boy toy. Do I want to look at the... Oh, okay, great. At first, I was confused. I thought that microphone was some sort of fleshlight based on your username. I might double up as a microphone and fleshlight. Who cares? Get yourself a better desk, smaller mouse mat, and wash your cup. Your cup's got like a yellow gradient on it and you're drinking water. Why is that? This setup is a little rogue. The desk mat is comically big for that table and definitely needs to be cleaned too. It looks like you're using the dining table as a desk and then you're eating on your desk too. Wipe your crumbs, my guy. And your, your bed sheet has a stain on it as well, just saying. At this point, you just shouldn't have submitted a setup. I honestly, sometimes I think people submit setups like this just for the attention. And um, you know what, you've got it. And you also got a one out of 10, quite a bad setup my guy. But I see your vision, okay? I'm not gonna completely shoot you down. The way you can improve this is honestly just just give it a clean. It just looks a bit dirty. Your mouse mat has a lot of crumbs on it. Now that might be because it's an old mouse mat. So maybe just chuck that one away and get one that's more reasonably sized. Your desk, I'm not quite a fan of the pattern going on on it. So maybe you can cover it with something simple like a tablecloth or in my previous video, uh, I did a video where I showed myself wrapping my old table. Yeah, to be honest, the rest is great. Just wash your bed sheets as well. Next up we have Sire Sparsh 3. I wonder what happened to two and one. That was a bad joke. See, the screen placement on this one is a little bit janky, and I'm not a big fan of the way that that PC tower sticks from under the desk as far as it does. But all in all, not a bad setup. Those cables could do with a little bit of tidy. They're trailing all on that front desk. Why has everybody got messy desks? Am I the only one that likes a clinically empty desk? But come on, if you're presenting 
for your setup to be rated, surely you'd give it a little clean. Oh, you play the guitar. Nice. Recommendations? Bro, you could have such a sick setup within moments. If you've just cleaned it up a little bit, uh, your headphones are just laying on the, f on, the on the desk. So maybe you can get yourself a headphone hanger and you can have it under the desk. Apart from that, oh, I see, I see you've got like a little accessory for your pens and pots. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I can't stress enough how bad it is for a setup if you eat at your setup as well. If you work there, play there and eat, it's just not very healthy, not a healthy thing to go down. At max, you should just have like a bottle of water or a drink with you. But having food anywhere near your desk and all that tech, it's a big no for me. Uh, overall rating, I'm gonna give you uh, a five, okay? Actually, no, it's got potential. But if this was all clean, give you a six. Right now, you can go ahead and go under the fives category and you could have a four. Kama yama nama nama man. This again, same damn desk mat, but only bigger. I told you that everybody has that same desk mat. Here's a quick tip for all the viewers out there. There are way better desk mats out there. <laughs> and they're cheaper as well. You can get cheaper ones than that one. It's not original and it's just a bit boring now. Fun fact, that actually was one of my first desk mats. So when I see people have that, I'm like, yeah, I remember my first one. You're clearly a newbie, but I love everything else. You've got, if I'm not mistaken, that's a Dell ultra wide monitor, which I also have. They're amazing. And and you have your laptop on a stand, which is pretty swish. Something is also telling me that you're a photographer based on your wallpaper backgrounds, which I really like. Okay, we've got another one from Reddit. Prepare to be shocked. Oh my gosh. I have the exact same camping chair. And I rate this setup purely because we share the same chair. This setup is far from ideal, but I love that you're working with what you've got and to your best ability. Coffee table being used as a desk, camping chair instead of a desk chair. No worries, do what you can. It doesn't look comfortable at all, and you must have to like hunch over all the way to that keyboard over there in order to touch the keys. But yeah, I applaud the effort. I'm gonna give you solid six. Probably asking, why does he get a six and someone else with better stuff gets less? Because their setups were dirty. This looks like there's no space for him to even eat at his setup, so it's nice and clean. I wanna see what that light do. You also have a, I also, he's got a second camping chair there. So when his friend comes over, quick pull out, boom, join. Juicy Jamie. This looks like to me like a pretty typical functioning home setup and you have everything you need to run a basic stream, a webcam, a ring light, a mic, stream deck mini. Just one question here. Is that a custom desk mat? If so, I applaud that. You gotta rep your own brand, my man. One criticism here, it's got nothing to do with the setup itself, but more to do with how you're organizing your desktop icons. What the hell is going on over there? It's just horrible to look at. There's no order to it. Rating. I can't see the under of the desk. So I don't know, is my rating gonna be fair? Um, I'm gonna give you a solid six for now. I'm gonna have a look at what your webcam now sees. Okay, you've got a decent background there. Why didn't you zoom out to take that? You got your Funko Pops. You got a decent setup going on over there, but again, I can't criticize what you have under your desk. I'm gonna give you a six. Because it's functional, it looks good, it's a vibe for you, and it works. Okay, first thing I notice from watching your videos is I would love to see you have a dedicated microphone because instantly the audio quality is making me wanna stop from listening to what you have to say. Traditionally, people are more willing to put up with more of a bad image than they are with bad audio. So if you improve your audio, and you can do that fairly cheap these days, you can get really affordable microphones. I'll link some in the description for you. You'd be surprised at how better sound could elevate your content right there. I'm gonna stick with my six out of 10 and over time I wanna see you add these little improvements and then who knows, one day be shooting the 10 out of 10s. Sir Higo. I'm a big fan of this setup right here, Mr. Sir Higo, mainly because that gorgeous view of the greenery, complete with a cool bamboo plant on the desk right there as well. And a little Lego bonsai tree too. Very nice aesthetics going on here. The only thing that stands out to me uh, that's strange is a huge amount of space that you have on that desk. But then you've kind of condensed everything else down. It's a bit like when people have like small features, but a big face. Your desk is equivalent of that. Uh, you have the luxury of spreading all of these things things out and letting the setup breathe. Maybe invest in a nice desk mat to cover some of that desk real estate and tie everything together a little bit more. Aside from that, looking real good. That is a solid eight, actually. I can't see the rest of your desk. I can't see what's going on below. I don't see what other lights you have going on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna downvote to a seven because I can't fairly critique what's going on down there and all your cable management. But yeah, no, you've got, you've got something really special to work with here. 
and you have a custom keyboard. Okay, you know what? Go back, go, go back to the eight. Subreddit user Joe underscore PM2804 coming in with this. Another W with the IKEA pegboard. That's what we love to see. As you can tell, <laughs> I'm a big fan of the pegboard. I've got like 10 on me here. This is just in case anybody needs a setup. I have, I don't need to go to an IKEA. This is another great example of what you can do with a setup with such a small amount of space. And I'm very impressed with this one. The vibes are on point. You've got your moody atmospheric lighting and I'm loving the very clean and modern black and white theme here. There's no clutter in sight and the cables are well managed. The monitors are mounted nicely. So yeah, overall, very good job. I'm going to give this a solid eight. I need bleach. Straight out the gate, uh, I just want to comment on how of, of a square of a monitor <laughs> that is. Apart from that, not really a great deal to say. This setup looks a bit like the majority of a family PC setup in the mid late 2000s, complete with a sliding draw keyboard shelf. I like that. And I like that you keep a baseball bat in arm's reach though. <laughs> Very threatening. X3B1, beware. Don't go around stealing this guy's desk. Rating wise, uh, I don't know, four, a four, a four out of 10. Wasau Suggy, what have you got going on here? This looks like the exact desk that JJ had with his first setup. You could be the next KSI. Anywho, wow, this guy, okay. See, this time we've upgraded from a baseball bat with a katana instead. What, what is this new trend with people keeping weapons next to their setups all of a sudden? I must have missed that one. Now, the only thing that really stands out to me about this setup is the size of that Xbox. I'm not sure if it's like some kind of perspective trick, but it looks massive compared to the desk. How would I improve this setup? I would, honestly, all the clutter that you have on your desk and balanced on the walls, like your DVD cases and stuff like that, a place for them. Find a place for them somewhere else apart from your desk. Also, I've had experiences with that same desk, exact desk before, and I know that it's quite fragile. Um, so perhaps you having a monitor arm won't work with that desk. Maybe you can mount your monitor to the wall if you're allowed to do that. But yeah, overall, see if you can free some clutter up from your desk by putting things up on walls or something like that or storage compartments. Apart from that, yeah, I'll give you the yeah, solid five. Nexus Renslayer, what have we got going on here? Fairly minimalistic setup. We have a curved screen, raised a tad high perhaps, but if it works for you, then that's all that matters. Nice, but not overwhelming amount of RGB going on there, so decent. And cherry on top though, is that there's a little or a beast Pikachu. <laughs> That's the reason why I really wanted to rate this setup. Look how cute and fat he is. <laughs> yeah, all right, we'll give you, got good little personality bits going on there. I'll give you six. Yeah, that, that Pikachu I feel is me pre-gym. Did I tell you I'm going gym now? No, no, no. yeah, I am. Look at that. you got a desk map that isn't the world map. Nice. Well done. All right, there it is. Another round of setups rated. I am on the hunt for some new ideas because I have new setups that I am working on. So this was very fun to see of what not to do. <laughs> Cheers for watching. If you'd like to submit your setups, do use my subreddit or tweet them to me and we'll make a video out of it one day. For now, goodbye.